How is the yellow fever vaccine administered? Have you ever wondered how the yellow fever vaccine is given? Understanding the administration process can help you feel more prepared and informed. The yellow fever vaccine is administered through a subcutaneous injection. This means it is injected just under the skin, typically in the upper outer area of the triceps. Before the vaccine is given, it needs to be reconstituted. This involves mixing the vaccine with a sodium chloride diluent that comes with it. After mixing, let the solution sit for about one to two minutes. This allows it to become uniform. Once ready, a separate needle and syringe are used to withdraw 0.5 milliliters of the reconstituted vaccine from the vial. It is important to administer the vaccine within 60 minutes of reconstitution to ensure its effectiveness. For individuals aged seven years and older, the recommended dose is 0.5 milliliters. However, it is not recommended for children under nine months of age due to potential adverse reactions. In certain cases, such as when traveling to high-risk areas, the vaccine may be given to infants as young as six months, but only under medical supervision. If someone has a severe sensitivity to eggs, a desensitization procedure may be necessary. This involves giving the vaccine in gradually increasing doses over a short period, all while under close medical supervision. The yellow fever vaccine offers long-lasting protection. Protective antibodies typically develop within seven to 10 days after vaccination. If you receive the vaccine, you will need an international certificate of vaccination, which is valid 10 days after you get the shot. Previously, booster doses were recommended every 10 years. However, current guidelines suggest that a single dose provides lifelong immunity for most people. The yellow fever vaccine plays a vital role in preventing the spread of yellow fever, especially in areas where the disease is common. It is essential for travelers heading to these regions and for those living there to get vaccinated to protect against this serious vector-borne disease.